Everybody's looking for backup power, but many people just don't want to deal with gasoline. And this little box might be the exact answer you're looking for. It's a brand new product from EcoFlow called the Delta II. It puts out more electricity than a Honda EU2200i gasoline power generator. But the most common question I get is, what can these things actually power? Let's start off by showing some real examples, and then we'll get into the technical details and the testing. One of my favorite uses for these things is being able to run corded tools any place I go. This is my old Makita saw. It's got a 13 amp motor. And this thing's old school, so it's going to use a lot of juice when it first starts up. And as you can see, this motor had no problems at all running off the Delta II. In fact, if this had 100% charge, you could make over 250 cuts with one of these. And now it's time to do our cooking test. This might be something you do while you are camping or during a power outage. But unfortunately out here at the shop, I only had the electric hot plate and I wanted to make sure you guys would know this thing was on. So I came up with another idea. This is around 900 watts and that is a lot of power. But during an outage, this thing could be perfect for heating up food or boiling water. Within a couple of minutes, that paper started to get toasty and eventually it caught fire. So I would say that this one definitely passed the test. And if you want to stay warm in the winter using one of these, you can. You can connect this to your house directly if you use the small transfer switch, but of course you can also use a portable heater. Now this one's small, but it outputs 1400 watts. And as you can see, this thing ran just fine without any issues at all. Now when you want to recharge this thing, you can do it three different ways. The simplest is to plug it right into an AC outlet and they include this heavy duty power cord. And you'll notice that they continue to keep one of my favorite features, which is that they don't use any kind of AC charging bricks. Those things are easy to lose. Here, just plug it in an outlet and this is where the high speed charging begins. This thing is going to go from zero to 100% in just over 80 minutes. You can also charge it via solar. Now you can use your own solar panels that you already have if they meet the specs that this thing requires. Or of course you can buy another model directly from EcoFlow and then that cord goes directly into the back of the unit. And immediately once the sun hits the panel, you can see that I'm already getting about 70 watts. Now that small panel is only capable of 100 watts. You can also daisy chain panels for a maximum of up to 500 watts of solar input. Another feature I love with this Delta II is they finally included app support. The original Delta was made almost four years ago and this was just pretty much unheard of back then. But now it connects right to your phone and it doesn't require internet. You can actually connect to this thing via Bluetooth and it's not just to kind of monitor it. You can control so many settings. You can shut off any beeps, dim the display and control all of the timeouts and even set how much charging speed you want. Now keep in mind the kind of output you get with this device can run things like refrigerators, even the heat inside your house. Now if you're going to connect it to a hardwired circuit, you're going to want to watch my video that I've linked in the upper right hand corner. Now from the outside this unit looks pretty much the same as the original Delta but they're completely different inside. They've upgraded the ports, you've now got two USB ports on the front that are capable of 100 watts a piece. Other new features of the display, now it might look just like the first one, but it's over 50% brighter, it's easier to read, and that's going to work so much better if you're outdoors in bright sunlight. Inside the box you get three cables, you get your AC charging cord, your 12 volt car charging cord, and they also include this 12 volt DC charging cord. Now many people like to use these in vehicles, and that charging port that they used to have on the side wasn't nearly as convenient, so now they've moved that to the back, but they've still given you six AC outlets, along with your 12 volt car outlet. But the biggest change of all is what you can't see inside the device. It still weighs just 27 pounds, but they're now using lithium iron phosphate batteries. It's got a running capacity of 1024 watt hours. And because the inverter inside has an output of 1800 running watts with up to 2700 surge watts. But what if you want to run things for a longer period of time? Well, fortunately for the first time ever, they've added this second port on the side of the Delta II. That will allow you to connect up a second battery. Now you don't have to buy that right away. You can add it down the road, but you can add either a 1000 watt hour battery or a 2000 watt hour battery giving you the total power capability of up to 3000 watt hours. And all you've got to do is just plug that battery in and the main unit senses it immediately. You can see that small icon in the lower left and if you want to recharge them both, you don't have to worry about balancing them or any of that stuff. You just plug that same AC charging cord in or you can use solar input as well. Now, EcoFlow has had a great history with my channel because their products really work and the quality is excellent. But I still don't trust anybody, so I hooked it up to my analyzer to make sure they weren't cutting any corners. And as you can see, these specs were looking great. Voltage was rock solid at 120 volts, frequency at 60 hertz, and the total harmonic distortion was under 1%. 
That, of course, is going to relate to why it's got pure sine wave output, and you can use this thing on electronics, tools, or anything that you can plug into a wall outlet. And now for the best feature of all, this one is currently selling for $9.99, and if you look at the top comment in this video, you can actually get it for just $9.49. Power stations are not all the same. There's a lot of junk out there, and many people have had issues. Fortunately, EcoFlow has emerged as one of the big leaders in this space. The only things I get complaints about are the price, so I'm thrilled that they finally came out with a model that's affordable, puts out a ton of features and you can even expand it down the road. So if you've been in the fence, I would definitely strongly consider this one. I can't see any way that you could go wrong getting one of these.